You know, one thing that I find really funny that's been happening. I, I swear the acts have been going down and down and down in quality. The acts have been going down in quality and the games have been like, what is it called? The games have been like becoming very lifeless for ranked at least. It's, I think it's going to be somewhat in a, if it continues on a trend like that, it'll just be in a similar state of like League of Legends where people like watching it and it's fun to watch and they'll pop up for events. But people are either one, addicted and then play it or two, a lot of people like quit because the state of the game is not so great. I mean, I think for League, it's more of a state of the community thing. And then for Valorant, I think the, I think the current agent state is kind of kind of boring do you think valorant is slow dying um no i think i think valorant is still growing as a game i just um i think it's just more of the rank state because I, I think there is like a really big casual scene in the game but i think it's outside of tier one pro play for any like form of pro play or like uh challengers like tier two stuff like that like the rank scene as a whole, I think is dying. That, that's what I would say. Cause if you play, if you play rank leaderboards, you climb high enough to like see like what radiant and like the top 500 is like, it it's just pretty lifeless. And then also the tier two scene is kind of completely dead at the moment. No orgs want to invest into the the game. Hon honestly, I I actually think putting Valorant within a franchise state, Kaiki kind of the competitive ecosystem up a lot. Because so many players that, like, were, like, pretty talented and uh, they were trying to, like, go pro and stuff and become a tier one team and, like, qualify events, you're kind of gatekeep, gatekept out of that. And you have to spend an uh, entire year where maybe, just maybe, if you're the absolute best of your region to compete in a multiple, like, region tournament for one spot in the franchise league for two years. I think, I think that's kind of i i think what i would consider peak valorant would be i i think there should be a character ban at uh, just one ban per team so you have more dynamic gameplay within the game like i think i think where you see valorant and where you see like okay where you see like a normal tactical fps and where you see like valorant i, I don't think valor is a true tactical fps and so for that reason they can kind of be more like a moba in a way where there's more dynamic comps um and people will pick comps that like other teams are not good at or you'll pick like you'll have jack's pocket pick player and you'll make stuff work around that stuff like that i think would be really interesting so i guess in a way all characters being viable would be really cool and just being able to uh play stuff that's not necessarily meta like i think it'd be cool for example if you're playing ascent and you can ban out one of the main key characters of the perfect ascent comp you ban out ko what would happen would they run double duelist would people run like different stuff like who knows you have to run a different flash character you can run like a double controller character i think stuff like that you have to spec more into the creativity of the game rather than the game being um like certain metas on certain maps and it's just it's just really weird like i'm sure people that play casually they probably don't give a f about like the stuff but i think for um Yo, Neon, where do you want to scale i would say right now and actually for a long time i haven't enjoyed valorant and also that's like kind of a key thing of why i retired in the first place but it doesn't mean i hate the game or anything like that I actually i love valorant as a game and i think it has a lot of potential and for me i get pissed off seeing the potential kind of go away in a way i mean i think for, i think for a casual game already i think valorant's actually pretty fun